It fits in a niche between a motorhome and an off-road vehicle, like a Bronco or a Blazer. But it's in a class by itself. The only one like it in the world. What is this unusual machine? Well, owners say the Revcon all-terrain motor coach, built in Irvine, California, is the greatest thing to happen to the automotive world since the Model T. And it may very well be, because this revolutionary development puts off-road and four-wheel drive enthusiasts in a world they've dreamed of for many years. The Revcon all-terrain motor coach takes the standard motorhome or bus conversion back to the days of the horse and buggy. Its equal in the book of achievements would be the Concorde or the Abrams Tank. Except the Revcon all-terrain motor coach is something almost anybody can afford. And its sole purpose is for family fun in the great outdoors. Powered with the Ford V8 7.5 liter engine and built on the Ford XLT 4x4 crew cab truck chassis, the Revcon all-terrain motor coach is luxury without peer. We call it your luxury hotel suite, the Ritz in the Wilderness. First, you notice that the Revcon all-terrain motor coach has four doors and four up-front pilot seats with safety belts. You notice the power steering, power brakes, cruise control, and the other amenities in the cab. They're uncomplicated. Carry the Ford bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranty for 36 months or 36,000 miles. Behind the pilot chairs, the luxury begins. Check out the details. The radius cabinets, countertops, deluxe carpet and furniture, convection microwave, refrigerator, demand water system, shower, mirrored medicine cabinet, Ultra Quiet Onam Generator. Besides the full size cab over bed, the Revcon offers a rear full walk around bed with coordinated bedspread and ornamental bedroom trimming. And we wouldn't omit the color TV and VCR. The Revcon All Terrain Motor Coach is designed to be the state of the art and it is built by people who love the outdoors and the fun of leaving the concrete jungles for the wide open spaces. Technology in the construction of the Revcon all-terrain motor coach is unparalleled. Its four-wheel drive tests have been severe and diversified and the motor coach came through with flying colors. Test drives to the crests of hills, giant sand dunes, over steep mountain trails, across fast-flowing creeks and through the dense woods. It has gone where no other motor coach could go without the Revcon's all-terrain, marvelous four-wheel drive response. The flagship of 4x4 territory, the Revcon, has the power and the strength to handle most off-road conditions. It's the answer to cross-country skiers who have to endure the cold and blizzards of their sport. Hunters find it a refuge from rain and snow and a comfortable base camp. Fishermen and hikers never leave the wilderness, staying at home in their Revcon off-road mansion. Driving down the highway to get to your area of the wilderness is a dream because the Revcon all-terrain motor coach rides like a limousine. Comfortable, safe, stable. Revcon's exterior gives you an insight of her four-wheel drive potential. Statistics like a leaf spring suspension and air tag axle, six all-terrain tires, a supplemental Dexter brake boost, power brakes, and cruise control. Just think of the places the Revcon all-terrain motor coach will take you. To the highest of highs, the woods, the lakes, the rivers. You don't have to leave the wilderness. You have an off-road home, as beautiful, as deluxe, as the one in the city. The Revcon all-terrain vehicles. They're the new dimension to 4x4 travel. Roughing it in luxury. Wherever you go, no matter where. Ray Novelli is the president of Off-Road Motor Coach Incorporated, the manufacturer of the Revcon All-Terrain 4x4 Motor Coach. In a recent television interview, he talked about how people react when they see the Revcon All-Terrain 4x4 on the road for the first time. They're awe-stricken. They, they think it's a moon vehicle. They, they're just awe-stricken. When we drive, uh, when they come up to it, they just stop. 
when we go out in the desert with it, like if we go to Glamath. Mm -hmm. People just start this sort of thing, you know, they just, mm -hmm. just love this thing. It's a real eye stopper. It's a, it's a, it's a something that just draws attention. So they, they fall in love with it. In his television interview, Ray Novelli discussed the common weekend sight on the nation's freeways and highways of people heading for the country towing trailers filled with smaller recreation vehicles. Pat, I'm one of those kind of people that you're talking right? about. Is that right? You've probably seen me dragging my little trailer up there, and I pull a trailer, and uh, there again, like I said, I'm an off-road enthusiast, and that was what part of my desire in developing this motorhome was that I love that. And I, you know, to go out in the desert there, I can get up, off the road, not have to camp on like a Glamath. You have to t camp on the on the highway. Well, mm -hmm. That's dangerous. Sure. Well, we can camp anywhere we want to go on at Glamath <laughs> or at Bismo. So they, you're you, you're right, absolutely right. Anybody that's into ATCs and mm -hmm. off roading mm -hmm. uh, for motorcycles or, or race cars, you know, off road race cars. This is the thing. Mm -hmm. I would presume that it would still be at home though if you drove it over to the Newport Dunes Mobile Home Park or any other mobile home park or, or campground in the country. Correct, because we have every every luxury that any other motorhome has, and there maybe more so. There's a very luxurious motorhome interior and exterior. But you can go totally out in the wilderness and feel luxurious, feel very comfortable, feel very very alone, but very very surrounded by the things you know and, and can use and handle. Right, you have all the luxury of home. You have the, the cooking arrangements, you have your freezer, you have your microwave oven, you have all the luxuries of home, including a nice queen-size bed. Mm -hmm. and a full inner spring, I might add, rather than pillows coming together. We well, talked about the bail bonding, but I presume the family guy can have a good time, too, because he's got a bunk for the kids and a bunk for the family. Right. For the, the children that come up, they can get above the crew cab, and then mm -hmm. we got a queen-size bed up there also, and then mom and dad can sleep in the back, and we still have the bathroom facilities, and there again, mom and dad and the kids can all get in the crew cab and travel down the freeway, you know, so you have a real seat rather than sitting on the sofa in the back somewhere. <laughs>